小小咪，我们今天要讲的这本书叫什么 ？The Dark， 对，黑暗是什么样的感觉 ？The Dark， 嗯，哦，黑黑的，所以拿出了手电筒。噔噔噔噔噔噔噔噔噔噔噔噔噔噔 ，The Dark， 这是谁呀、啊、？Laszlo。Was afraid of the dark. Lasso 跟你一样怕黑夜。The dark lived in the same house as Lasso, a big place with a creaky roof, smooth cold windows, and several sets of stairs. 他住在一个大房子里哦。Sometimes the dark hid in the closet. Sometimes it sat behind the shower curtains. 有时候黑暗会躲在哪里？躲在衣柜里，有时候躲在那个洗澡的浴帘后面，无所不在哦。But mostly it spent its time in the basement. All day long, the dark would wait in a distant corner, far from the squeaks and rattles of the washing machine, pressing up against some old. Damp boxes and a chest of drawers nobody ever opened. So, 大部分的时候，黑暗都躲在地下室里面，黑漆漆的。那离我们有点远，在那个洗衣房里面，是不是 ？All night, of course, the dark went out and spread itself against the windows and doors of Laszlo's house. 当然，夜晚的时候，黑暗就出现啦、啊，它笼罩整个屋子耶。But in the morning, the dog would be back in the basement where it belonged. Lazlo was peek at the dog every morning. 不过只要白天太阳公公出现之后呢，黑暗就躲到地下室去了。但是 Lazlo 都会忍不住去偷看一下地下室，看看黑暗躲在里面干什么。他会跟他说话，他说 ，Hi. He would say, Hi, dark. 他会跟那个黑暗打招呼，说你好、哦。Lazlo thought that if he visited the dark in the dark's room, maybe the dark wouldn't come visit him in his room. But one night, so Lazlo 以为他只要去拜访那个黑暗，黑暗就不会再来他的房间找他了。可是有一天晚上发生了什么事？你看他真的很怕黑耶，他还拿着手电筒睡觉。有一天晚上怎么了 ？It did. Lazlo, the dark said in the dark. 嗯，黑暗来找他，来叫了他的名字哦。他要干嘛 ？The voice of the dark was as squeaky as the roof of the house, and as smooth and cold as the windows. And even though the dark was right next to Lazlo, and the voice seems very far away. 那个黑暗的声音听起来好可怕哦，而且很冰冷的感觉，感觉好遥远哦。Oh, what do you want? asked Laszlo. 那男孩不知道他到底要干嘛，有点害怕。I want to show you something, said the dark. 所以黑暗说：“我想要拿东西给你看哦，是什么呢 ？”In here? No, said the dark. 是这里吗？是这里吗？不是哦。Here， 是浴缸里面吗 ？No, no, said the dark. Downstairs， 不是哦，不是在浴缸里，是在楼下哦。Downstairs， 楼下。Yes， said the dark. 没错，就是楼下。他拿着手电筒走了下来。In Laszlo's living room was the biggest window in the house. Laszlo looked out at all the dark outside. Above him, the roof creaked, and the and he closed his eyes. Now the dark was all Laszlo could see. No, no," said the dark again. "Not there." 这拉斯来到客厅啊，客厅有一扇很大的窗户，外面黑漆漆的，然后他害怕的闭上了眼睛，全部都黑漆漆的。可是黑暗说并不是这里哦，黑暗说什么？黑暗说 ，Down here， 在楼下哦，还要带他到地下室去。In the basement， asked Lasso。Yes， said the dark。是吗？是在地下室吗？没错。Laszlo had never dared come to the dark's room at night. Come closer," said the dark. Laszlo 从来都不敢在晚上的时候到黑暗的房间去，对不对 
，但是黑暗叫他靠近一点哦。Lasso came closer, even closer, said the dog. Lasso 走近了一点，但是黑暗说：“再走近一点吧。” You might be afraid of the dark, but the dark is not afraid of you. That's why the dark is always close by. The dark picked picks around the corner and waits behind the door, and you can see the dark up in the sky almost every night, gazing down at you as you gaze up at the stairs. Without a creaky roof, the rain would fall on your bed, and without a smooth, cold window, you could never see outside. And without a set of stairs, you could never go into the basement where the dark spends its time. Without a closet, you would have nowhere to put your shoes, and without a shower curtain, you would splash water all over the bathroom. And without the dark, everything would be light. And you will never know if you need a light bulb. So, he said, "You are afraid of dark, but dark is not afraid of you. This is why he is always in our side. If we don't have a roof, rain will flow in, water will flow in. If we don't have a window, we can't see outside. If we don't have a bed, we can't put clothes on. If we don't have a bed, we can't put clothes on. If we don't have a bed, we can't put clothes on. If we don't have a bed, we can't put clothes on." 所以这些东西都很重要，是不是？如果没有洗洗那个浴帘的话，洗澡就会把房那个厕所喷得湿哒哒的。啊，如果没有黑暗的话，你怎么知道什么时候需要点灯，需要一个灯泡呢？这是有灯呢。对啊，这时候 Duck 又说了 ，Button drawer said the Duck。黑暗说最下面的那个抽屉哦，是什么 ？What？ Button drawer said the duck. Open the button drawer. 是什么？是什么？黑暗说：“快把下面的这个抽屉打开。” Thank you, said Laszlo. You are welcome, said the duck. 所以原来下面的抽屉里面都是小灯泡啊！谢谢你，黑暗。不客气。对呀、啊、，By the time Lasso got back into bed, the dog was no longer in his room, except when he closed his eyes to go to sleep. 所以当他回到房间的时候，黑暗已经不在他的房间里了。除非干嘛？他闭上眼睛的时候，他还是看到黑暗。The next morning, Lasso visited the dog in the basement. Hi, he said. Hi, dog. The dog didn't answer, but the bottom drawer was still open, so it looked like something in the corner was smiling. 隔天早上，拉索又到那个地下室去跟 Duck 打招呼了，可是 Duck 并没有回答他。哎，但是你看下面的抽屉还是打开的，所以看起来好像一个东西在微笑哦，是不是？ The dog kept on living with Lasso, but it never bothered him again. 黑暗呢，继续跟拉索住在一起，但从今从那天起，拉索就不再怕黑了。黑暗并不可怕，所以这就是黑暗的故事。Dark， 小小咪怕不怕黑？你会对不对？可是有灯啊，我们会开小夜灯。晚上的时候，我们会。有手电筒可以用，有灯可以打开啊，也有点蜡烛啊，所以不要怕黑，是不是？黑暗是友善的。当你害怕它的时候，它可能会更靠近你，所以不要害怕它，鼓起勇气。The end。